Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and today I just wanted to show you a little idea I've come up with um, for a tarp ridge line. Now for the uh, purists amongst you, you're not going to like this because uh, it's a no-knot system when you're putting your uh, tarp up. Uh, the idea came from a guy from America who's doing his own little brand of sort of tarp tackle if you will. Um, they made a titanium and obviously they're not that expensive but I thought you know I can have a go at making one of them. So that's what I've come up with. I've come up with this little thing. I call it the spookster. Um, when the, the uh, paracord's not in there it does look like a spooky face which is why I called it the spookster. Um, but anyway it basically sits on the ridge line through that through them two holes there. The free end goes round the tree back it wraps around this little hook and then you sort of pull it that way like you would with a trucker's hitch and it goes over the back through that little nick and then just wedges in there and you can see there there's no knots there whatsoever if you wanted you could put a half hitch in there just to uh, just to lock it off but you know that's not a bad ridge line I've not pulled it that tight and uh, it's good enough for a for a tarp I'm just going to take you to the other end now and show you that end. Right, at this end I've just made a simpler sort of thing. It's just a little hook tied onto the end of the paracord with a bow line. And then that just goes around the tree and hooks into a little pusset loop. There, like that. And that's, that's that first end. And then you just go down the other end and uh, tie it off using the spookster. The idea of this system is it creates a space in between these two lines rather than it just being one line from the tree. If you had a hammock coming down from here there's a potential for it to sort of catch on that line. But with this, if you imagine this was a thicker tree there'd be a bigger space but that's enough space there for your, um, core, your climbing tape, suspension, whatever, down through the middle your hammock just to uh, fit between there and we've got the same at the other end. Right so back at the other end and you're going to be asking me what I've made this out of well this has cost me the grand total of two pence to make and that gives you a little clue as to what I've used to make the spookster and at the other end it only cost me one pence so in total it's cost me three pence to make and a bit of time with the uh, file and the dremel and the drill but there you go, just a little idea I wanted to try and it seems to work okay so uh, maybe I'll try another version that uh, might work that little bit better but that seems to work okay okay, hope you enjoyed that, thanks for watching